Hello from Oakland Park, Florida. I'm coming to you from the Urban Farming Institute. I'm very excited to be here. My name is Diana. Today I'm going to show you a quick six ingredient plant-based mayo. So I'm going to make a chickpea salad and I'm going to use the liquid from the can of chickpeas. Uh, it's called aquafaba, uh, Latin it literally means bean water. So you can make this at home or you can just pour it out of that can that you've already opened to make your chickpea salad. So I just drained my chickpeas and I have this beautiful cup of aquafaba. And this is all we're gonna need for this recipe. So we're gonna move these chickpeas aside and we're gonna add all of our other ingredients. We have lemon juice of one lemon, salt and pepper, uh, two garlic cloves, and avocado oil. That's it. Okay, so first we're going to add all of our ingredients except for the oil. We wanna add that last. That's our emulsifier. Every mayo you need to slowly emulsify the oil into the mixture to get that creaminess. Otherwise, it'll all fall apart. Um, so, our one lemon, our garlic, already mashed. I had it sitting for a few minutes to really bring out those healing properties of the garlic oil. We have about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Now you want to make sure it's the ground mustard that has all those ground bits in it. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Okay, so first you're going to want to blend this mixture so it creates a frothy consistency. So we're going to take our immersion blender I find that this works the best for the mayo. You can use a food processor if you'd like, but this definitely gives you the perfect consistency. Okay, so we have that frothy consistency we want to start with. Now we can start to add the avocado oil. Um, the key to an emulsification is to add a little at a time, as I said. So you want about a tablespoon at a time. There we go. So now you see how it kind of sticks to the back of the immersion blender? So that is what you want to see. You want to see that hold. That's how you know it's got that creamy, thick consistency that you're looking for. Put this in the fridge for about two hours and you're going to have that standard mayo look. All right, so now I'm going to make my chickpea salad. So. Um, I have these ingredients over here. It comes together really quick. I make this for lunch um, while I'm working or when the kids come in. Real quick put together. So a chickpea salad. You're going to put about half a cucumber. Um, I think I have four radishes in here, just fresh out of the farm. Some green onion. The whole stalks real quick and easy. And then a teaspoon of celery seed, a tablespoon of hemp hearts, and a little bit of soy sauce, about a teaspoon of soy sauce. There you go. So this has a lot of really good elements to it. Radishes have folic acid. The celery seed has manganese, which is really good for your bones. Chickpeas are full of protein, and so are hemp hearts. Um, hemp hearts have about 9 grams of protein per tablespoon. So we got a lot of protein sitting in this bowl. So now we're going to add a little bit of the mayonnaise. And that kind of depends on how creamy you like it to be. Okay, so now I'm just combining it with a fork, mashing those chickpeas uh, just a little bit so that they have more of like a, like a tuna salad consistency. So. You don't want to mash them too much, but break them up a little bit. And then a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. 
here is our chickpea salad. Probably took less than 10 minutes to make. The longest process is definitely that plant-based mayo, but it's so worth it and it's so quick and zero waste. None of that liquid going down the drain, no, no going to the store to get that veganese you forgot. All you need to do is get six ingredients that you probably already have around your house and voila, you have your lunch prepared. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe and join our community here at the Urban Farming Institute in Oakland Park, Florida. We would love to have you come and learn more about our gardening side, our aquaponics, our hydroponics, and more things that we're doing with food. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you soon.